Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going through April and May empties. It's hard to believe that. Uh, but I have got a basket full of empties for you guys. Be hard to believe that. Before we get started, be sure that you click that red subscribe button, like this video. And uh, so a little housekeeping before we get started. Okay, so I think I'm going to put up a backdrop, I think. If you've noticed, like, this is always changing over here, and I'm not really sure what to put there. And I am actually, like, right by this wall. <laughs> so I can't put, like, shells or some kind of background scene. I think I'm going to get a backdrop. But what kind of backdrop do you guys think? Um, so, like, printed, solid, sparkly, a scene. So in the comments below, um, put what kind of backdrop you think I should get or what kind of backdrop annoys you the least when you watch YouTube videos. Um, and if you like think of something that would be really cool, then you could put like drop like the Amazon link for it down in the comments so I can check it out. But that would be so helpful because you guys are the ones watching it, so I want it to be aesthetically pleasing to you as well. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started with empties. So first I've got some wipes. Um, these are ones that I've got from TJ Maxx and I actually have got another pack too. Um, so this is 60 of the Micellar Water Cleansing Wipes for $3 from TJ Maxx. So I went through a 60 pack and I'm on to my next one. But I only use cleansing wipes to clean up around my eye area um, or to remove swatches or things like that. So these worked perfectly fine for me for $3 for 60 because uh, honestly, if you think about how much they are, even the e.l.f. ones are more expensive than that. Let's see what I've got here. I've got an empty of the Bath & Body Works uh, shower gel. I do have another one that I already had that we are working on using. But like I said in, I don't even know what video, it was probably another empty video. These have sodium lauryl sulfate in it, which I'm trying to get sulfates out of products. So I will not be repurchasing, repurchasing those once I am done. But I do believe that they have come out with some newer kinds of body products that are free from those harmful ingredients. So I haven't looked into that or anything, so I have to do that. But we have a couple left that we're going to go through and be done with. So went through that. I went through four packets of the Cosrx pimple patches. Uh, if you have not seen my video on that, I will link it right up here. These things are amazing, and I get them off the Cosmetic Love website, and they're only two fifty a pack instead of five to six dollars if you buy them here in the United States. So I will link that below. Um, but you can also get them off Soco Glam, which is a United States-based retailer, and those are reduced price. Amazon also has them, and I'll put the link below because I think they're around $3.33 if you get them from Amazon. Um, but yeah, already repurchased some more. I totally love these. I will probably never stop using them. They are amazing. Then I went through some South Main under eye gels, under eye eye gels, under eye gels. So these I got in a boxy charm and I like these. This is the kind of under eye patch that I like, the ones that are kind of jelly and wiggly. I think they're the most comfortable to wear and um, I don't know that I saw a reduction in like color, but I don't really have a lot of green or blue or redness or anything under my eyes. Um, that it does help moisturize your eyes if they're kind of dry. So I like an under eye eye gel. I like an under eye gel patch um, a couple times a week just to kind of give like that extra immediate boost of moisture to my eyes. So then we've got. I've got, I cannot believe, I must have not, here's another one. I must have not kept all of my um, face masks, face sheet masks, because I'm sure I would have gone through more of those. Um, these BioBell ones, I don't feel like there's as much serum in them as other sheet masks, so I don't know that I would, well, I, know, I wouldn't repurchase that. 
I can get a I can get a lot cheaper on the cosmetic love website with a lot more serum on it so I wouldn't spend that much at Ulta to get that sheet mask again I do have some of the Victoria's Secret ones these I got for a dollar each on a sale they were having I would not recommend getting them for more than a dollar they're not like super wonderful but they are this sounds awful you can tell that they are not as high quality made as the Korean ones, um, but they are, the ingredients are good enough that in between sheet masks I can use these. However, since I bought these, um, I've realized that off the cosmetic web, cosmetic web, off the cosmetic love website, they're like 50 cents a piece. So if I'm placing an order there anyway, I'll just get them so I don't really need to stock up on the Victoria's Secret ones. Um, but that is an option for you if you want to try out sheet masks or if you don't want to order internationally, then that's probably your cheapest bet for a sheet mask. And I have got the Leader Sheet Mask. This one is more expensive than the other ones, but it is made with the coconut gel. So those gel, coconut gel, hydrogel, those kinds of sheet masks are more expensive than the cotton ones but they also you can keep them on longer because of the material that they're made out of they don't um once the moisture goes into your skin they're not going to soak up the moisture back out of your skin like the cotton wood cotton ones would then i have got a cooling aloe vera eye gel mask this i would not repurchase um the this is from ulta beauty these have like a cotton backing on them and I find the ones that have any kind of cotton backing on the eye ones, they're just uncomfortable to wear under the eyes. They kind of poke into your under eye, I guess. It's hard to blink. So I would not repurchase that. I have got an empty of the Batiste dry shampoo already repurchased. I also purchased some chlorine ones because they were on sale for the Ulta Gorgeous Hair event. So I picked up two of those, but I've got several of the Batiste ones ready to go as well. I use a lot of dry shampoo. <laughs> then we've got, I have a lot of body products. We've got the Saint Tropez. This was the In Shower Tanning Lotion Light. And I did a full review of it. I will link it up here. I would not recommend the light one because I used this when I had very light skin and it was still difficult to see a difference. Then I switched to the medium deep one and within five uses, um, I only used it on one half of my body. Within five uses, I could see a difference. So I would not recommend the light one. I would definitely recommend the medium to deep one. I have got the uh, brow... Brow Though Conditioning Primer from Benefit, and I have already repurchased this. I really like this brow primer just to be ready to take whatever brow product I'm going to put on, especially if I'm using a powder. It's really good with that or the Cabral, so I do like that. I already repurchased it. I don't know that I would say it's, I don't know if it's conditioning. That's kind of weird for my for my eyebrows. It's not like my hair where I can feel the dry hair that I would know if my eyebrows are being conditioned. Um, I wouldn't say they were super dry to start out with. Then I've got the Urban Decay um, Resurrection Mascara. So this is the mascara that you use if later on in the day you want to refresh your mascara or apply another coat. You put, you put this on and it kind of loosens up the mascara that's currently on there. I absolutely love this. This is not empty, it is old. <laughs> so I need to repurchase it. I will for sure repurchase it. And um, there just aren't enough times throughout time that I redo my mascara on into the night. So that's why I have to pitch it because it just got too old. But it is going to be a repurchase as soon as Ulta has a 20% coupon up next. I have got the Organics Coconut Hydrating Oil Mist. This was on clearance, as you can see at Target, but I really like this one. I would spray this if it had been a day or two since I washed my hair and my hair just kind of started to get dull. Then I would just put this on and it would give it a, sh a really pretty lightweight shine to it. And this is definitely something that I would repurchase and it's a pretty inexpensive product. Next up, I've got an empty Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I'm actually going to keep this bottle because the sprayer is really nice. So if I have a 
setting spray or fixing spray or something where the sprayer is awful, then I'll just pour it into here. But as you can see, I already have got my replacements for that. So that is one that I really like. Um, I use it as a primer water, as a refresher throughout the day, or as a setting powder. Next, oh my gosh, I think this must have been close to the beginning of April when I ran out of this because I totally forgot. This is the Benefit Total Moisture Facial Cream. This is not a product that I would repurchase. It is between $30 and $40, I think. And honestly, I think that's kind of expensive for an, is it an ounce, for 1.7 ounces of facial cream. It might have been even more expensive than that. But, um, you know, I have like my COSRX ones that I'm using, my Claire's ones that I'm using now, and they are a lot more inexpensive than this. And I just like the ingredients that those products have in them rather than this one. So I wouldn't repurchase that either. <sighs> This is for sure a repurchase. Why do I feel like I talked about this? Oh, I did in my favorites. <sighs> yes, so this is the Bath and Body Works Cracked Heel Treatment. It is now called, they totally repackaged this line. This was the True Blue, True Blue Spa line and they just repackaged it all. Now this is called the Glycolic, Glycolic Peel something for your feet. I don't know. But this stuff is amazing. I use this every night and I don't ever have a problem with calluses or like dry peeling skin on my feet. So I like that. I will for sure repurchase that, but definitely wait for a sale and a coupon to get a good deal on it. I have got the Urban Decay Lipstick. This is, she, this is the Sheer Liar. Uh, lipstick. It's very rare that I go through a lipstick unless my daughter takes it and digs totally in it. <laughs> so this is now an empty um, and it was one of my favorite lipsticks. A really, um, it was a really, it was a really nice formula. It was a really comfortable formula to wear, really pretty color, sheer, but lots of pigment still. Um, and I actually think I have this in the new packaging because they just repackaged all that stuff. But I think they still have it. All right, then I have got a brow product. I didn't know if I would ever go through a brow product. Um, this is the Lorac Brow Pencil. And it was just one of those skinny ones that had a spoolie on the other end. That spoolie has for sure seen better days. Uh, I don't think I would repurchase this one because they don't have it in the right tone of color for me. This one was a little too red and the ones on either side of it were too light or too dark. Uh, it's a nice brow pencil, but you know there's a lot of drugstore ones that work just as well, so I would not spend the money and it is not my right tone. But if you have it or you wanna get it, it is a nice brow product. So I've got a Juice Beauty uh, Green Apple Brightening Gel Cleanser. I did like this cleanser. I don't know that I would purchase a whole size of it, but I like the cleanser. Juice Beauty is a great all natural line and it worked as a great second cleanser for me. I have got a Lime La Limelight Sotox so so Face Serum. Uh, this one was actually a pretty good price. It's almost two ounces and it was around $40. So I think that's a pretty good price for a serum. And I don't know what the mushroom is supposed to do for your skin. Something with anti-aging. Oh, lift sagging skin, smooth wrinkles, reverse stress induced aging. This is a nice lightweight serum. Uh, I don't know that I saw the effects of it, but I don't know that that's a long enough time to be able to see the effects of it. With skincare, I think you have to use it continually throughout your life so that long-term you see your skin not aging as fast is kind of my belief on it. I don't think you can use a product for a month and see like reduced wrinkles. Now, can you see uh, in improvement in texture or brightening or hydration? Sure, are you gonna see a reduction in fine lines no. Over time, you're not going to have as many fine lines as you would if you didn't use it. That's kind of my belief on skincare products because I don't think that you can take away fine lines. So long term, you're going to see the effect. Short term, you're not. So that's my thoughts. Those are my empties for the months of April and May. Don't forget to let me know what you think about the backdrop and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!